Welcome to Suffrage School. I'm Kathleen Cahill, Associate Professor of History at Penn State University and the author of Recasting the Vote, How Women of Color Transformed the Suffrage Movement. Today, I want to share with you Anna Howard Shaw's speech, Indians vs. Women, from the digital collections of Radcliffe's Lessinger Library. Here, Shaw is describing her experience campaigning with Susan B. Anthony in support of a women's suffrage referenda in South Dakota during the hot summer of 1890. This speech reminds us that white women were not the only people advocating for voting rights at this time. Native people were often a presence in women's suffrage debates and, as we will see, women of color regularly took white women to task for ignoring their concerns. Beginning on page two, Shaw describes the women suffragists' treatment at the Republican Party's state convention in Mitchell, South Dakota. And here some backstory is important. South Dakota had two items about the vote on the ballot that fall, one enfranchising women and one enfranchising Native people. Both failed, but the women's suffrage referendum lost by a larger number of votes. In labeling her speech Indians versus Women, Shaw equated the women's suffrage referendum with white women and the Native suffrage referendum with Native men, essentially ignoring Native women. She reinforced that idea by contrasting Republican men's poor treatment of the nationally famous Susan B. Anthony with their warm welcome to Native men at the convention, whom Shaw describes as, quote, in full regalia of feathers, blankets, paint, and moccasins, end quote. Her audience would have understood them to be so-called uncivilized Indians, in contrast to Anthony, who, as Shaw put it, had no peer in the audience, but alas, she was a woman. White suffragists often used this strategy of contrasting white women's poor treatment with the supposed political power of men of color. But just a month after this election, federal troops in South Dakota killed over 300 Lakota men, women, and children in the Wounded Knee Massacre. Shaw delivered her speech at NASA's second annual meeting in February 1891, and it was printed in a slightly altered version in the Women's Journal. African-American suffragist Anna Julia Cooper responded directly to it in her 1892 book, A Voice from the South. In her chapter, Women vs. the Indian, Cooper deliberately reversed Shaw's title and urged white suffragists to take a less divisive and more just stance for universal equality.